The executive coaching from Focus has been a, a big boost for me because as an administrator, you go into schools, and, I, and I'm a turnaround principal, so I've gone into three schools um, that have been struggling and attempted to turn those schools around, create a strong culture, um, create a vision. But having that, that, uh, that peer, that, that, that boost from a person who's been there, who's an experienced principal or an administrator, who helps you to understand that when you go in that there will be conflict, that there will be resistance. What I learned from Jan, who's worked with me um, almost from the beginning of my, my, uh, my tenure at my school, was that le the price of leadership is conflict. So you go in and understand that people will push back, but you go in and help them to understand and realize what your goals are for the school. You set those goals, but you support them. And I learned that a supportive leader is an effective leader. So the coaching, those days when we begin to question as principals if we can do the job or if we have the courage to be able to do it, it always helps to have that, that critical friend that you can contact, you can email or call and just say, how should I do this or how should I do that from someone who's been successful, who's been experienced, who's proven. And um, that's been the biggest, biggest um, asset for me with focusing with the coaching is having that person that give me the confidence. I already knew I could do it, but that person that said, here's the confidence, but also here's a plan and here's your plan B if that doesn't work. That really helped. Every strong leader has a strong mentor. Um, you know, leadership isn't something that can be done alone, um, and sometimes it feels really, you kind of feel isolated um, as, a, as a building principal. Um, you have your, you know, your supports in place within the building, but, you know, ultimately you're still the principal and you still are held accountable for the decisions that are made or not made in your building. So focus on results has been really, really helpful for me, um, not just in kind of reframing the way I think about things, but helping me with my blind spots and things that I don't always see because I'm in it. It helps me not feel so um, isolated and um, you know, it really gives me the opportunity to you know, process ideas or thoughts or directions um, that, you know, that I'm thinking of um, you know, maybe taking the building before you really kind of vet that out with the ILT and the staff. One of the things that I realized that I needed was I needed someone to think with in my building in order to like maintain the work of moving again, the most critical work, moving the school's um, instructional improvement process forward. Well, the coaching is an important piece. You know, as the principal of a building, you rarely have people you can bounce ideas off of um, that don't work for you. You know, um, of course, the people that work for me all think my ideas are great, at least to my face. So it's it's really that coaching piece is really important. It's a safe person. It's a person who has experience. A person who can say, yeah, been there, tried that, and maybe you want to steer away from that idea. Um, and, and it's 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 very important to have an outsider come into your building. They see things that I don't see necessarily. They sit in our ILT meetings and say, you know, they're able to give me feedback afterwards and say, uh, you know, did you notice the the tone? Did you notice the, you know, whatever was the undercurrent running through the meeting? You know, help me focus on, you know, the, the culture, the culture piece, which is so important. and you know, building that culture of trust with my ILT and, and being able to take that to the staff at, as a whole is really important and I think the mentoring piece and, and the coach has been instrumental in that process. FOR coaching has been invaluable um, and it's helped me grow. Um, I always say to the teachers, just like they're receiving coaching from the instructional leaders and from the principal, I also, um, I want to always position myself as a learner as well. Um, so I also share with them, I'm really um, very transparent that I'm receiving uh, coaching. Uh, it's helped me in so many ways. I've received a lot of uh, coaching from um, Joe Palumbo and Brett Bishop on having difficult conversations. I think that's really important. Uh, good principal work um, tells us that we have to have those difficult conversations um, or else we're not going to move and we can't um, shy away from them. Also, uh, the Focus and Results coaching has really helped me understand um, the work of the ILT, the instructional leadership team, and um, how to establish an ILT, and, um, and really how to move the work through shared leadership. I think that's been um, very important. And also, um, I've had a lot of coaching from Focus and Results with uh, 
classroom visits and how to get into the classrooms and how to bring other teachers into the classrooms by opening up the doors. Um, and there's a protocol that goes along with that. So I think those three areas have been huge. But much of the work is really with me to help me figure out how to create sustainable and effective um, improvement within the school. So, to, so it's really, the coaching has really helped build my capacity, um, I feel, um, to, to move the work of my school forward. And then um, secondly, again, with some really specific kinds of tools and protocols, one of the things that um, I was struggling with at one point is realizing we had moved a lot of folks forward but there were some classrooms I was really concerned about and it talked about that with Brett and then we sort of he had a process for kind of helping me to think through each of those classrooms what I wanted to accomplish you know and then um, and a little action plan for, for, for each of those classrooms so it's sort of been at a whole bunch of critical points over the last three years when I've been struggling with when I've been struggling with a problem that I've identified, then to be able to like name that problem to really, you know, I, we joke around, but I say like, he's my more knowing other, you know, to be able to sort of name that problem and then have him bring from his own experience and then from the resources that Focus on Results has sort of like tools and practices for how others have effectively approached that problem has been extremely helpful to me. Focus on Results executive coaching helped me grow as a leader really because they, they put people in place to really support you in the work in which you're doing each and every day. And we worked with Carrie Purcells as our, our, our coach and she's, she was our biggest cheerleader. She really, she coached us, you know, whether it was present when she was present at Columbus Park or via email, phone calls. It was always, always, she was always there. And she was an outside set of eyes saying, you know what, maybe you should try it this way. Maybe you should look at it differently. Always, always positive and always really guided you to make decisions and really validated the decisions that you made in the work that you do every day with kids and teachers and the parents. And I, she, it was just unbelievable how much support we got. And it really made our job pretty easy. Once they came in and got a snapshot, one of the biggest things I noticed about them was they observed, they sponged, and then when I was ready to say, so why, what, do you, what did you take away? Then they saw it was ready to get that feedback. So it wasn't a heavy like, I'm coming in and this is what's wrong. No, and I'm not coming in with solutions either. I think my frustration level in the beginning was they keep asking me questions and they're not giving me the support and the answers. And then it's like, it can't come from them. It has to come from us as a school. And another piece about it is also, it was that mentality. It's not coming from me. It's coming from us as a school, as a whole building. Um, when my first year, you know, they would come in and they would say, Shalmar, you're doing behavior again. Why is it every time I come into the school, you're managing this? And I said, you're right, what should I be doing? So as they started to you know, be a little more visible or check in, I really made a mental note to say, I'm in instruction, I'm in classrooms. So we used different tools and different ideas, but again, they saw it and they saw the, the issue. So it wasn't just talking to them about it. Um, and I think the other power of it is they come with experience. You know, They're not just people who grew in consulting and changed careers. They were in the practice, they did the work. Um, and they know the pressure post-NCLB, so they're current, and I think that that helps us do our job as well.